think this is yours. Uh, <laughs> that works too. Anyway, guess who it is, everybody? Y'all is a dead weight, less great, always getting second place. I tend to race ahead of pace, dipping while I'm dressed in bait, then they chase. Catch me if you can. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Q Tuck, Shoe Game Elite, man. Uh, what's today's date? Uh, look at my phone here. I don't even know what today's day is. January 27th, man. It's been a while since I uh did a video or whatever. This is mine gonna be a quick view for the bread 13s and um some more stuff. Uh, I did a video on release day of the bread 13s, but um, I've been busy, I wasn't able to upload it. Then I messed around and deleted it on accident and I never got around to doing it. Uh, I'm a business major, you know what I'm saying? So school started, um, I'm back in college, and it's, you know what I'm saying? I don't really have that much time to, to put on the shoe stuff, but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm a couple of videos behind, so um, yeah, let me get into it. Shouts out to all the fans and subscribers, um. And that show love on the page. Uh, everybody that has hit me up on Twitter. Shout out to my boy Jays for days. Shout out to uh, his kids. Shout out to Jumpman Bosky. Um, uh, J Star. Shout out to all of them. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've been busy with school, and uh, this I, this is the second video on the Bread Thirteens. Uh, I wasn't able. Uh, I messed around, and deleted the first one on release day. So, um, of course. <laughs> Let y'all get a good look at them, man. Make this quick, like I said. I already wore these once. You can't even tell. Oh, it's got a little dirt. A little dirt on the white part on the bottom, but yeah. Um, this size 11 and a half. Uh, yeah, one of my connects had a problem with getting me the shoe. Uh, and I'm back at school, not in my hometown. Well, I'm able to, the, well, all my connects up. I got another connect down here in the, in the great city of Houston. That's where I'm at right now. So, uh, he was able to point me out to where to get my shoes. So, shout out to my boy J. Lou. Uh, I got these at the Houston Galleria at Champs. They didn't do a, uh, no raffle or nothing. It was first come, first serve. And I got out there at like 8 o'clock. It was almost 9 o'clock. So, I was, I was able to get 11 and a half. And these actually fit pretty, pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I thought they'd fit a little bit small. But, uh, I, of course, I wear size 12, but, yeah, first off, you know what I'm saying, you got your tumble leather right there. It's not that good in detail, like the past tumble leather that we see on Jordans, on the past Jordans. And when I say past, I mean, like, earlier Jordans. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it still feels pretty good. Of course, you got the dimples right here in your shoe. That's what I call them, you no know, 3M. Everybody was crying about the 3M. Uh, my thing is, like, so what if it don't got 3M? What the fuck you plan on doing with that 3M if you did have it? Not a damn thing. Like, what, you gonna go ball in the night and shit? You gonna go hoop at night so everybody can see your shoes flashing? Like, shut the fuck up. It's just, like, it, who cares? They probably thought about it. It was like, man, that 3M shit kind of, kind of, kind of pricey and worthless. Like, it don't do shit. It, like, what's the point of having it? Anyway, um... If you haven't noticed, this red is pretty loud on here, and this is supposed to be like a, it's supposed to feel like a suede material, you know, but it's not, I mean, when you rub your finger across it, it barely changes colors, you know, real suede, when you move your finger across it, it changes colors, like it goes from dark to light with the grains, so, um, I mean, but it still, it still look nice, uh, got the hologram, I still got the plastic on mine. Still got the plastic on there. Red jump man. Red jump man on the inside. Uh Jordan and White right there. Got the red uh little jump man on the bottom. Uh white. White leather. Uh I mean white rubber grips, you know. I mean, overall it's still a nice looking shoe, but the quality of the shoe, man, I'm gonna be straight up one hundred. Take a look at your shoe and look. All down, all down, all the way through, right here, all the way around, there's nothing but glue. You can see the glue clear as day. I mean, it's just there. Let me see, zoom in. Uh, you see that? You can see the glue, even around the toe box. You can just straight see the glue. You see that? That that white gray stuff, that's the glue. I mean, it just goes all the way around. Um. 
I was kind of disappointed about that, but I mean, overall, it's, it's a good shoe. The fucked up thing about it is, though, and, and, and Jordan Brand and Nike getting off with this shit, uh, they dropped, you know what I'm saying, and I seen people going crazy trying to get them. A lot of people weren't able to get them. And it was, you know what I'm saying, dropping 300 for them. And then that next weekend, seven days later, it was a complete restock online of these. At East Bay, Foot Locker, Foot Action, all of them. And I was like, damn, that, that, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I got my pair. Uh, I might be able to get another pair in the size 12 this uh, coming week. Uh, the five red fives just dropped yesterday. And I woke up late to go get them. And, um... I wasn't able to get my size, but I'm going to have them uh, in the middle of next week sometime. Shouts out to my connect up at the uh, foot action. Um, they still had some pairs coming in, and I'm going to have them. Um, so I wasn't tripping about it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to do the review when those come in. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, man, and another thing I noticed, I seen the picture. I seen the picture on Twitter. Dude posted and uh, if you hold if you hold these two shoes back to back like that, hold on, let me get it right, like that, you'll notice you'll notice the seams. You see that seam right there? Now look where it's at on this shoe. On this shoe, you can't even see it. Now look where it's at. This little seam right there. You see that? That's the seam on this shoe, and on this shoe, the course says, you see how much bigger that is? That's like the length of my fingernail right there. But on this one, on this side, it's just, you know what I'm saying, like a couple centimeters, which, which is kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know me, man. All my gear is official. All my shit is official. You know what I'm saying? Straight from Champs. Got the champ stick right there in the corner. So, I mean, I saw when a dude on Twitter was talking about, I was like, yo, bro, you might need to check your shoes where you get them from. Whatever. And, uh, I can't remember where he said he got them from. And then I went and looked at mine, and I seen that shit on mine, too. I was like, no, that's just a, fr uh, uh, a production flaw or something like that. And it happened to be the same shoe. So, you know, check your bread 13s and check, see that scene, how that scene looking in your shoe, man. Uh, it's nothing to be, uh, 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 you know, bugged out about. I mean, that's just a factory flaw, or just might be how to shoot. It's just how to shoot made. But um, yeah, I'm watching this Pro Bowl right now. Guess who it is, but uh, yeah, shout like I said, shout out to everybody, um, all the fans. Uh, I just started the Instagram. It's a uh, shoe game killer. It's a uh, uh, S H O E G A M E K I L L A. Shoe game killer. Uh, I'm just posting pictures, you know what I'm saying? When I when I match my kicks up with stuff, how I'm dressed and how I'm fresh like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just basically all that is. Um, yeah, somebody had took the name Shoe Game Lead already. But yeah, shouts out to all the subscribers and all that, man. I appreciate the love. Uh, I'm going to have more videos coming soon. Like I said, I've just been busy with, uh, with the start of school or whatever. Um, I've been seeing videos about uh, everybody else getting on DJ deals. I've seen a lot, lot, lot more videos about uh, people uh, talking about DJ deals and all. So, uh, apparently, how I felt about them was, you know, was, was mutual in the sneaky community. At the end of the day, fuck DJ deals. Straight up. Um, holla at your boy, shoe game elite. I'm out.